Now, don't be afraid of stepping on a few toes. You have the ear of the president. Even so, I'm in a no-win situation. London says I push too hard. Washington says I don't push hard enough. Sometimes I think you're afraid of getting into the loop in case it tightens around your neck. Now, that's not fair, Janine. I've been kept in the dark for so long, I don't even know what I'm looking for. It's simple. You want to be kept abreast of every development. I'll help you keep it all in focus. Good morning, Miss Ambassador. Sorry, but we had to start without you. My apologies. Mr. Ambassador, gentlemen, I just want to impress on you all the seriousness of the situation we find ourselves in. The freedom of the United States, Britain, the whole Western alliance is at stake. We believe that de Vries and Winston Ross, his puppet, are attempting to do in Britain exactly what Hitler did in the 1930s. Attack any weakness in national security, capitalize on the unrest, and take power legally through the ballot box. The conquest of Britain would only be the beginning. If they succeed, they'd be confident enough to do the same thing in the United States. Well, we can't let that happen, can we? That's exactly why we're here, James. We have got to discover their agenda and prevent them from attacking again. Mr. Latham, this is a restricted area. <sighs> Ambassador Cortland is the president's personal representative. He has clearance for all information, especially anything that jeopardizes American interests in a time of crisis like this. Quite some of you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid Mr. Latham is right, sir. But I'm sure Mr. Sorensen will pass on any details as soon as we get a lead. Excuse me. Uh, Mrs. DeFries, isn't it? Yes. The ambassador must know now. He must be kept up to date. If you don't leave, I'm going to have to call Mr. Sorensen. <sighs> that won't be necessary. But please, you have to update me immediately. The moment something happens, Washington has specifically asked to be kept abreast of every development. We'll do that, sir. I can't believe I married a man so spineless. But Karen DeFries is still involved in this operation is shocking. Sorensen decided. Sorensen decided? Who's the ambassador here? Have you noticed something, or is it just me? What? Well, it seems like ever since Woodkowski was killed, that Mrs. Cortland has become more and more interested in what we're doing here. I figure she's just protecting her husband. I'm not so sure. You know, once we've cracked this, I want you to do a cross-reference index search global on our Mrs. Cortland. This may interest you guys. Come and check this out. The normal codes aren't getting around it. Let me give it a try. Access denied, Tom. Sorry. Janine Cortland, Columbia University think tank, PhD in full professorship in computer science. Mm. In 1989, she began a Washington consulting job where she met and married the recently widowed ambassador to Finland, James Cortland. That stuff's unclassified. Why was it protected? Well, it seems her, shall we say, lobbying techniques are quite extraordinary. Mother, Christiana. At age 10, sent to Medford, Mass. to live with aunt and uncle. Eight years later, married Klaus von Klunes. Try Klunes. Hmm. Access denied. It's not letting me in. It's another code. It's weird. Somebody's got at this. 